Hello everybody, Mr. Harry here with a YouTube channel about how to get new sounds from your guitar using objects. In the last video we talked about the sponge and now it can help you getting very interesting sounds from your guitar. We saw that if you put it here between the bridge and the bridge pickup you can get very cool sounds but it's very difficult to do because you can't do it with just your fingers you need something else to help you like for example a pencil so today we will talk about how to get very similar sounds to the one we got with the sponge with other objects for example with hair ties like this this is a very common hair tie yeah, it's a very soft one and it's quite large. You can put it here on the bridge, like this. As you can see, it's like this. Okay. And how does it sound? It sounds like this. So it's very similar to the sponge, but this, this is not the only way to get a similar sound. Another kind of uh, hair tie is this. You must put it here like the other one, same, in the same way, and it sounds like this. is a more muted sound because it's a, a, a tougher um, and a diff uh, from the other one and it's made of different materials. For example, another one <laughs> is this funny one here, okay, and it sounds different again, like this. But there are uh, other objects similar that we can use. For example, rubber bands. This is a, a, a rubber band. It's a, a large one. Okay. And if you put it here on the bridge, like this, it must touch the strings. The sound is this one. It's still a muted sound, but it has a very different attack. You can use a thinner one, like this, and the sound would be different again. It's, uh, it's still muted, but it's more uh, open, more dynamic. Okay. We have another kind of plastic object that we can use, is this uh, plastic spring, usually is uh, for uh, keychains. If the, the advantage of this one is that you can stretch it and make it very large on the back of the bridge, so that it can push the strings and it's very it's very tough here on the strings where we need it for example okay but if we do the opposite and we take it very large here 
on the strings we get another sound. So it's quite a um, versatile object. But what happens if we want to use, if we want to mute, for example, two strings at a time and not all the strings all together? We can use these little balls here. You can find these in two shops for uh, decorating your party. If you put them between the strings like this you mute just two strings Now I will show you how I use this object and in particular this one in my songs when I play live. But to do this I will need another kind of pick. Until now I used a regular plastic pick but now I'm gonna use a pick like this. It's a pick for ukuleles. The riff I'm gonna play is from my song, from my first album, and it's called Never a Slave, and it goes like this. That's all for today, see you next time.